Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Unreal Engine 5.0.3 hotfix that was released today. A lot of y'all have been messaging me, telling me that ever since they updated the MetaHuman in Unreal Engine 5, you have a lot of problems, issues, facial morphings, and mouth not moving probably. So in this video, I'm hoping that this hotfix fixed all those problems for you. So I have a project here with a brand spanking new MetaHuman which is actually not in the map yet. So let's go ahead and go to MetaHumans, Scarlet, and drop Scarlet in there, and I'll reset, and she should be right in front of the camera right now. If I look down, you're going to see, oh my gosh, that is not a good look. Some of y'all actually told me about this line showing up here. Now, I'm not sure if this is the fix for this, but if you go to body right here, you can just reset this to blueprint and then change it to asset and that should go away. Now, I'm not sure if you load up some animations that that's going to show up again, but as you can see, that kind of fixed it. So what we're going to do next is actually turn on my iPhone 13 and see if we can get some facial animations on this meta human. I already have live link, Apple connected, so I'm not going to do any of that. I already have it right here. So what we'll do now is actually turn on my phone. And I'm going to screen record on my phone so you can kind of see this side by side. Okay, so here we are. And now what I'm going to do is go to my BP Scarlet, change the live link face head. I'm going to turn that on so I can have some head movements. And then I'll turn on my name name right here. And then after that's done, I will go ahead and simulate to see if we are good. <laughs> and it looks like it's still not fixed. What the crap? And this is really why I haven't updated my video tutorial on how to use live link face because right now <laughs> this is happening with the live link with meta humans. Now you can use Unreal Engine 4.27 control rigs and just copy and paste it to a UE5. But honestly, for me right now, I am still very much so in Unreal Engine 4.27. And whenever I'm ready to render in Unreal Engine 5, I just migrate to that project and light and render because honestly, I still get a lot less crashes in UE 4.27 than Unreal Engine 5, unfortunately. And obviously, as you can see here with my meta human, the mouth is still messed up. With that being said, this is it for this video. If you were able to fix your meta human with the new Unreal Engine 5 version, let me know in the comments below. But as you can see here, looks like it's not fixed yet. Peace out.